boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be reading your guys' hot takes. That's what I do. Today, it's not really hot takes. It's just your initial reactions to the brand new Terminus Island trailer story and everything. If you want to see more videos like this, I'll be doing this for Liberty Falls, Cod Next, and everything else in between. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're getting ready for Black Ops 6. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right on to this with our first message here coming from Finn and Bobby says I love it gameplay looks like Cold War which is manageable but the aesthetic of zombies feels like BO1 to BO3 all combined which I love feels like every Black Ops game into one now this is something that I'm loving with this new game is that sort of art style that you know class that old school feel that is in these older games look like it's going to be present in this game with the added on addition of the incredible mechanics and systems that we do see in cold war and black ops 3 those classic mechanics mystery box you know wall weapons gobble gums those things are awesome in games but we've seen that in every game what i'm loving to see in this game is that color that style the quotes between characters the intro cutscene the dark ether turret those are all just such simple things but really give up the a lot experience of a map but overall aesthetically that's what I think that this game has done really well is give its own sort of character and personality and I can appreciate that in a zombies game where character and personality especially in Cold War wasn't seen too frequently doesn't feel like facility map number four but this time it's in Berlin our next reaction here from Scrine everything looks incredible in every way a more in-depth and better Cold War I'm very excited especially for the save feature the new gum system looks intriguing as well and I'm so excited and cannot wait Except, why do we have to play online to play? I hope they offer local solo. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Local play isn't something that we've seen in Call of Duty because of COD HQ. I think that's stupid. I think you should be able to play Call of Duty games offline. You should be able to play local lobbies, zombies, multiplayer, doesn't matter, campaign. I don't know why you gotta play that public. What happens if you're fucking... Especially for high rounders, what happens if your your internet shuts down? You just lose your game? Although the save and quit feature is my maybe one of the best things zombies has ever introduced. That is such an amazing feature. The new gum system as well. I love the way it's going to work. And yeah, just a very more in-depth and better Cold War. Cold War rate laid those Cold War laid down the groundworks of mechanics and how the game can feel and run. But it looks like this new game is going to be the way that we shoot up and it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited, boys. And yeah, I'm loving everything I'm seeing. Why am I getting hyped over an Activision game? Oh, Microsoft, please cook. Our next take here from Gavard, he says, I'm unfathomably ecstatic, so am I. Damn it. The best of Build 3 and Cold War rolled into one. With an updated engine and custom customizability that we've never had before. We're in for a treat. Uh, we're, uh, hopefully it's not a trick. Hopefully it is a treat. Um, Yeah, I, I this is what Lily kind of other people were saying is it looks like combinations of other games. And I'm super excited about that. The combination of two best things. There's great things in Cold War that it did better than BO3. There's great things in BO3 that it did better than Cold War. Why not combine them and make the best thing possible while also adding new mechanics? You know, people are saying it's a combination of these two games. I 100% get it because it's right. But there's so many other new things. Omni Movement is completely specific to Black Ops 6. The, um, new boat feature completely specific to black ops 6 these are things that we haven't seen in previous zombie titles and i'm super excited for that so not just a combination of everything in the past but new innovation as well that's something i can appreciate and black ops 6 looks like it's going to be doing that the deceiver says this looks like it's about to be fire i can't wait to master these new maps don't got much to say just hell yeah brother there was no permanent upgrades which are a good thing keeping everything in gameplay i just don't know how i feel about the armor and tax sprint and zombies tax sprint yeah that's something interesting we've seen before but i think it could be used correctly if um maybe stamina up has a infinite tax sprint or stamina up have, has some super special effects with tax sprint but the armor system as well i know i haven't read any into much of this but i've heard it's a three plate armor system um, I liked the armor in Cold War. I know some people didn't, but I personally did not mind it too much. I don't know how this new armor system is going to work with the craftables. I feel like this is a lot of things that we are going to see. I am excited for it. I think that we've been waiting for something like this to happen in terms of new ways to get these sort of specialist, special customized abilities. But I will say if it's going to be a similar armor system to Warzone, that's going to be take away a little bit of the effective jug. Take away the little bit of the effect of, hey, maybe that the Super Sprinter's armor effect won't be balanced right. Maybe it's going to feel really weird because it's not now going to feel like a Warzone game. How is that going to work? I'm not too sure, but if there's a game and a company that I trust in Call of Duty, it's going to be Treyarch. 
and it's gonna be Black Ops. Terrible Tony, welcome back. You know, I feel like I'm be getting the same people, man. I love the fact that you guys are sticking around for this. I appreciate you. Uh, the first part, you know, I'm really enjoying zombies. Gameplay looks sick, looks like Cold War, which we really enjoyed. We all enjoyed Mauer, top seven map ever. Story-wise, though, I'm not too sure how I feel about Rick Toffin being the big bad, the villain, the heel. Maybe I'll come around to it. Also, the characters we play just seem really bland. Well, characters like Maya, these other characters like Grey, they, yes, they were very bland in Cold War, but we'll see the new motivations and how they change with the prison system coming into this new game. Now, but for the story-wise, for Rick Toffin being the villain, he was a villain in Black Ops 1. He just played as him. He was a villain in Black Ops 2 with the Victus crew. How are we going to see him being the villain? I don't really know because we are now trained because of Black Ops 3 and 4 to love Rick Toffin, but he's also been sort of a, of a questionable character. We've not really ever known to trust him, especially, but we did always trust him over somebody like Monty or the Shadow Man. This new game though, is he going to be just the villain or is his story, are we playing as the villains? And Rick Toffin isn't the villain in this game, yet he's misunderstood. This is something that we are going to see, maybe not just in this map, but in the next DLC and next maps coming along. And I hope Rick Toffin is represented well and not just, ooh, big bad Rick Toffin. It has very, very in-depth motivations and why he's doing, because it would not match his character model, his pure self leaving the Dark Ether without it, you know, formalizing into something into this new modern Dark Ether story. And that is something that I think that we're going to see a lot in this next game is that new story. Mystic. Now, Mystic dropped me a couple of different hot takes. So we're just going to read my favorite one. And Mystic's favorite hot take that he gave me goes a little something like this. The manual armor plat plating is going to suck in my opinion. It feels too much like Warzone and Modern Warfare Zombies, which I both dislike. I won't fit into the zombies formula well. I really hope I'm wrong and they have some way that makes it feel better tuned into zombies. So, uh, yeah, if it's just normal plates like Warzone, I completely get that. There's no style there. There's no flavor. If the plates are dark etherified, if they give you abilities, if they have certain tiers, I don't know exactly what they're going to do. But I do have faith that Black Ops 6 is going to maybe make it more interesting rather than just in Modern Warfare. Because Modern Warfare Zombies, yeah, feels like Warzone, feels like DMZ, that sucked. But maybe this new armor plating system in Zombies makes it feel super unique and not just, oh, here comes Warzone feature number 17 to go into Zombies just like the compass and minimap was in Cold War. This aligned and combined with other things that you will be, you know, upgrading with in-game like that other take gave us, hopefully that it all together makes this armor system feel, you know, more complete, less sort of like something you just threw in from Warzone. But I will agree, this is something that I'm nervous on. And honestly, one of the only things that I've been like, eh, we're going to have to wait and see. Ermac. Seeing Trek not only listening to fan feedback, but basically every complaint that Cold War had and fixed slash changed them, but also doing things like save and quit that nobody thought of is such a massive W. Four years of dead time is really showing here. Yeah, four years of dead time is really showing. But my question is that four years of dead time, it's all in this map, right? But we have to follow this map up. We can't just release this map and then wait till February till we get a new one, because that's what happened in Cold War. And Jingle Hells came out and that shit was trash. So if we are going to want to see other things, we're going to need new zombie maps in December, in February, in our, April, or new Warner weapons, new things, new things to add to the map. I can't just sit here and play the same map for four months. Now, I understand there are two maps, and that's great. That'll definitely give it way more longevity. But I would love to see those changes implemented and not wait a whole month just to have a new gun in the game. You get what I'm saying? So yes, that four years of dead time, if it's really gonna show, it's gonna be the amount of post-launch content we get and how much time it takes for that post-launch content to get released. My boy Whale, code six beluga. Most of my main issues are on CWR, I think that means Cold War, seem to be addressed or streamlined, such as the HUD, salvage, and armor. Added QL, um, like save slash quits on solo and less menus for PAP are great. It's now time to see if high rounds and weapon balancing have been changed, which if it has massive W, yeah. Weapon balancing is a big thing. We talked about this in the hot takes video with Quidos. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. But weapons need to be able to be used past round 20. That's just something that I've seen. Now, not all weapons because you need your shitters to make it interesting, but you do need to give me some really good weapons in this new game so that it doesn't feel like I have to use the Wonder Weapon at round 20. I want to be able to use the Commando. I want to be able to use the XM4 or whatever they call it. I want to be able to use all these shotguns. These guns aren't usable in these newer games unless it is insta-kill, which obviously but I want to be able to use those guns without having to completely switch to the ray gun healing on salvo or whatever game you're playing I want to be able to use those guns you know I don't have to be able to use them until round 60 but I would like to use them until round 30 and I definitely think they need to be buffed which I hopefully the ammo mods will be a way they do that finally mercy horrible mercy with our last 
comment of this video says manual armor playing like warzone is such a huge no for me that is something that we've seen before but i want to get to that last part excited about weapon kits yes the customizability of buying a gun off the wall and you get your weapon kit grabbing it out of the box you get your weapon kit no more already attachments on guns i hated that in the last game you being able to have your weapon kits and bring them to the game are very very nice that is such a great feature and i really love that it's like they're really fuck is Trark listening to us kevin drew i know you're back on twitter i don't even know if you probably don't even know me you guys probably don't even know me you're like that's the guy that shitted on modern warfare 3 this guy is a fake i promise when you're good i love you kevin drew i know you made zetsabo i know you've been there since the beginning craig houston you're a great writer treyarch please deliver because I can't take another L. I can't take it. I will stop yelling. I'll let you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are the absolute best. But that's all I got for you. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Nothing comes between us. Dancing like ballerinas under the moonlight all night long. And people just need to get over that. And the world is lonely now. It's never all eyes me. The more you leave me in a trench, it means everything to me. Looking down below, but when I say goodbye, no matter where you might go, remember you'll be on my mind. I was watching over me somehow. You made me feel invisible. Power to my soul. Yeah. I'm uneasy. Things that used to bother me, cause you're existing.